challenges with speaking is that sometimes you will be presenting a topic or a concept that the, the people in front of you may not agree with or they're just on the fence about. It's difficult to try to come right at them with all the facts and figures and expect them to immediately buy into your concept. So rather than hit them with the big ideas first, try to gain early agreement in your speech with little things. You want them to start nodding their head and agreeing with you as soon as possible. For example, in giving a presentation about my topic of public speaking, I could ask a question like this early on to gain audience agreement. You've probably had that experience where you had to prepare for a presentation and felt pretty nervous, right? I think everybody has. Typically, people will begin nodding yes and agreeing with me, just a slight agreement point. I could add to that with another point of agreement with something like this. Imagine that you have the confidence and the conviction of your message so that when you stand up, you may feel a little anxious, but you're excited because you know that you're going to have an impact on this audience. Wouldn't that feel a lot better? And they're going to do this. There's a saying in sales, and I'm paraphrasing it, but essentially the little agreements are the ones that lead to the big agreement, the big yes at the end. Don't start your presentation by immediately trying to sell a big idea, especially if people are on the fence or maybe opposed to your, your concept. Build these early agreements. Get them thinking, saying, and nodding yes throughout. And you'll increase the chances that they'll buy into your main point by the end of your speech. See you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.